seen by the human eyes what brand. Giant sex robot. <laughs> <laughs> right. Put that to down first, yep. okay? Okay. I have no clue what this is. Honestly, I've been getting so many different packages because since I started this whole move and transition, we've been ordering a lot of things and I haven't really kept track of what is what. And I got a picture of this from Kendall's dad that this arrived and it's in this wood box and he said it's really heavy. No clue what it is. So we're gonna open it up. Open it up. I still have no clue what this is. Oh, sh it is my neon sign. I told you. Oh my gosh. Look at this. I'm actually, this is a lot larger than I thought. Wow, I don't know measurements at all. I thought three feet was like this big. <laughs> Every time. This shirt right here, right? It's a little worn out but I made a neon sign of this shirt, three feet by three feet. It's gonna go right there on that wall. You may or may not know, I've been moving into a new studio and it's been a lot, a lot of work and it's been taking a crazy amount of time. And with that being said, I haven't rolled out the vlog yet, but I wanna share something special with you guys today. Obviously I'm shooting in my new studio right now. This is one of my new setups, so I'm very excited about that. But what I wanna share today is I came up with a build for the ultimate camera gear organization station. So you can put all of your camera gear in a nice clean place. It looks beautiful and it's easy to access and it's also safe and protected. So let's dive in to how I built this. All right, so we just bought this giant toolbox right here and it's way too heavy to actually lift. They, at Home Depot, they put it on a forklift to help us put it in the truck. And now we're trying to figure out where to actually get it off because there's not really a way. And so we found this ledge right here. And I think that this ledge might be, it's like a little ledge right there. And we think that it might be high enough. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the back of this truck I mean, right back here like this. Keep coming. All right, keep coming. Nice and slow, nice and slow. You got about like, Going? yeah, you got like three feet. Just really, oh, it's right there. I got you. Good. You're good. That worked out a lot better than I thought it would. Now we just got to roll this thing to the office. So all the gear that I'm gonna be using for this DIY organization station is gonna be listed in the link below in my bio. So you can buy this stuff too and follow along and build something exactly like me. So the first thing that you're gonna want is a Husky utility drawer. And that's gonna be running you around $769. And I know that's expensive, but this is gonna be the main and most expensive part to this whole thing. So you wanna get a specific utility drawer like I did because you want it to be at least four inches deep on the top drawer so you can fit your camera gear in and have a bigger drawer on the bottom so that you can have your charging station. You also wanna make sure it's locking and you wanna make sure that it's heavy. Even though it makes it harder to move, it keeps it a lot more safe. Next, you're gonna to wanna to get padded mats. And these are gonna be around $20. And what you're gonna use these for is cutting out the different camera gear slots. And right now I'm gonna measure it out and we're gonna cut this so that this fits in exactly into that drawer right there. So that's gonna be the first thing that we do. And then from there, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna start laying out all the different lenses and the cameras and then make markings for those to cut those out as well.
Boom. Pretty good, huh? It's just like a glove. Proud of myself. We're gonna start laying down or making our layout. So we're gonna get all my lenses and lay them out and see what looks good. And then we're gonna, once we like everything, we're gonna trace each one and then cut them out in the room. I'm in love with this already. Uh-oh. Okay, <laughs> right there. Please tell me that one fits. <gasps> <Might be love. laughs> we didn't measure that one. How do you feel? I'm pretty stoked on this, actually. Like, I mean, this is so much more organized just to come in here. Sorry. Like, I'm pretty exhausted. But just to come in here and be like, oh, all right, I need this, this. <sighs> then you're gonna wanna buy a metal hole saw. And you're gonna use this for drilling right in the back of your utility cabinet. And this is gonna allow you to run cords in there and then have your charging station all in one place. So the coolest part about this Husky drawer is it comes with a key that you can use to unlock right here. Boom, like that, and bam. The first one is my pride and joy. This is my cameras, my lenses, anything that I'm gonna be using to shoot audio equipment right there, all cut out perfectly using those mats that I told you guys and recommended to buy, and boom. And then say if I wanna grab this, get my pocket 6K, and I'm gonna grab this lens right here, everything is labeled underneath with where it goes. Don't mind my Mark II right here, usually I don't have it at the shop, but I'm using my R5 to shoot because typically the R5 goes right there, but nevertheless, you can see it still works. Next, right here is my Edelkrone drawer, and this has everything that I use for the slider, for the turntables, all of that just neatly placed in here nice and clean. Over here, we have my next favorite drawer, which is all my batteries that are charged and then we have lens filters, plates, and the tool to put it on. Beautifully done. I love this. This is what the rest of the drawers are eventually gonna look like once I get more organizers. I only bought just a few to see if it worked because I wanted to make this work first and then before I bought a bunch of them, so. And then obviously what's a tool chest without your tool set, drawer set. And I use all this stuff all the time, especially the drill and the hammer and also these uh, utility razor blade knives and this utility tool. So this is all neatly put away and super organized and ready to go for my shoes. The next coolest drawer is this one right here, which is my charging station, where I charge all my batteries that are going on right in here. And we just ran the hole through right back there and I can show you guys in a second. So it's really awesome. But all we did was we took that utility tool and drew the hole right through here, shoved all the cords and then right on the side of here, you ha we have it pl we have plugs. So we're running all the cords and extension cords right through the back there. Boom. And then I got my music box, my Bose music box, so we can listen to music while we work. And then the last drawer right down here is just for the bigger stuff. And right now it only carries my Ursa and the Edelkrone head. But that's what's so cool about this is I still have so much space and everything's so organized. I have so much stuff in here and it's already so organized and literally it's just awesome to use. And then obviously you have this crazy work table bench on top. And I'm not sponsored by Husky. I just came up with this because I saw this and I was like, this would be perfect if I could build it exactly like this. So that is the final design right there. Boom. The total for this project ran me $836. And I know that can seem like a lot, but when you're investing in a place that's gonna store and keep your camera gear safe, I think it's worth the investment personally because really you're spending 
less than you would on a camera lens or your camera itself to protect your gear and keep it organized. And not only that, keep it looking really cool in the place that you put it. All right, everybody, that's it for this tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed it. Comment below with your organization station setups. If you haven't checked out my product video course, do not sleep on it. I promise you it's worth it. The link to my product video course is in the bio below. You can learn how to create product videos just like me from home and make money and eventually get an awesome studio just like this. So check it out. All right, guys, please like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, 